What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about discontinued tech in 2014 and give them all the proper goodbye. First up we have the Windows XP operating system. Now Windows XP has been around for more than 12 years and has been on pretty much all of Microsoft's computers. Now I am not a big fan of Microsoft but for the people that, that did use it for uh, their business or just their daily working uh, on their computer uh, they actually discontinued the operating system due to people being able to hack their system just the how easy it was to do that like they were able to get into their users information and the only way to fix this problem was to update to their newest uh, software it would probably take a little bit of getting used to because of the layout of it and it's completely redesigned uh, but I think Microsoft could do a lot better on their operating systems just because they're very complicated it's not really simplified for users to use it unless you're like very tech savvy and you're able to use computers and tablets and different things like that next up we have the Nike fuel band which was one of Nike's uh, fitness wearable uh, wristbands and was able to track your fitness, your heart rate, how many calories you burn, pretty much all the simple basic stuff that all the rest of the wearable technology we have right now, including the Apple Watch. Now, Nike has decided to get out of the wearable uh, tech business, I guess you can say, uh, by discontinuing the Nike Fuel Band and any other fitness products they did have which actually caused 70 employees to be cut out of that job just because there was no need for that uh, position anymore uh, because they cut that fitness uh, like the production of those products that they did come out with Next, we have the iPod Classic. Now, the iPod Classic has been on the market for more than 13 years and was just removed from the online store on Apple's website and was first launched in October of 2001. And it was promised to have 160 gigabytes of storage and was running on a hard drive. Now that was probably one of Apple's best mp3 players because of the fact it wasn't really that hard to use even if it was a person that just got that's their first Apple product it was very simple but you still have some defects with it because of it being a hard drive um, of the disk not running properly. When it first came out it the price was $399 and now since it's taken off the market it is listed at $500 and you're able to buy that on Amazon or eBay but most people are probably not going to be going to that just because we're in the modern generation of technology right now and we're on to better things and we don't want to go backwards we want to keep going forward and seeing what we can improve in technology that we have right now next we have the iPad 2 now the iPad 2 was released in 2012 and I actually had it I had pretty much every iPad except for the two newer ones that have came out um, and they were discontinued due to the fact of them releasing the iPad 3 and 4 and now we have the iPad Air and Air 2 but I think it was probably a, one of the best iPads because of uh, it was more updated compared to the first generation and it was easy and simple to use just like the previous ones but now you're not able to buy it unless you go online which is pretty much what everybody's going to have to do if you still want that device moving on to facebook email now facebook email was released in 2010 and was a email service that would hopefully be 10 times better than microsoft google 
AOL and Gmail and all of the other email services out there. But a lot of people complain due to the fact of it being really slow and it was very cumbersome and just was not easy to use. It wasn't up to date with things. So they just decided to just take it off and just end it right there. Next, we have Aperture. Now, Aperture was a very professional uh, photography uh, application that allowed you to edit your photos and make them better, enhance the colors of them. And recently, they took that off of the App Store. You can't even get it. You can't even get iPhoto. And in a new update that they did for all of the Macs, uh, now we have the Photos app, which combines our camera roll, um, our iCloud, our photo stream, it just combines everything. So it took Aperture and iPhoto off the App Store, so you're now no longer able to get it. And I think that they did a very good job with the app just because of how simple it is to use. It's just like opening the photo app on your iPad and looking at your photos, and it's very, uh, responsive I feel like there's no glitches or anything like that um, so yeah it's very very good next we have the beats bot beats by dr. Dre beatbox and was a speaker that was discontinued last year uh, and was very compact and very uh, powerful the sound was clear and high quality just like all of their headphones and speakers I have now and they decided to discontinue it and it's uh it was i believe 400 and now i think it's even higher than that you have to get it from a website it's not even on the beats by dr dre website you may be able to find one on amazon or ebay or something like that next we have quickbooks now quickbooks was an application that allowed a business owner to run their business and make it 10 times easier and organize their finances and all of their expenses for that month. And uh, it just makes it 10 times easier to run and you don't really have to, uh, everything is pretty much done for you. So it was a very good application and for all those business owners, I would definitely recommend getting it. But now it's discontinued so you probably want to update to the newer version of the one that they did have that's it for this video if you liked it please click that like button subscribe to my channel for more videos every thursday and i will see you guys in the next video peace